so a new question which you all are going to write today which will will be a uh, five mark again i'm saying and write the question right now give a brief description give a brief description of the revolt of the revolt led by led by the silesian weavers the silesian weavers silesian s i l e s i a n silesian weavers in 1845 give a brief description of the revolt led by silesian weavers in 1845 now right the silesian weavers the silesian weavers revolted the silesian weavers revolted against against the contractors against the contractors who supplied them who supplied them raw materials raw materials in 1845 in 1845 stop the revolt the revolt continued in the following manner the revolt continued in the following manner number 1 point number 1 dissatisfied weavers dissatisfied weavers emerged from emerged from their homes emerged from their homes dissatisfied weavers emerged from their homes on 4 june on 4 june and marched up to marched up to the houses of the contractors houses of the contractors stop point number 2 <clears throat> they demanded they demanded higher wages they demanded higher wages stop when the when the contractors when the contractors these agreed when the contractor these agreed a group of weavers these agreed comma a group of weavers a 
group of weavers forced their way forced their way into the house into the house and destroyed and destroyed everything inside and destroyed everything inside stop next point another group broke another group broke another group broke the storehouse and plundered it broke the storehouse and plundered it stop next point the contractor fled with his family the contractor fled with his family to a neighboring village stop in this revolt in this revolt eleven weavers were killed next stop complete this is a five mark question done acha next number 3 point another group broke into the storehouse and another group broke into the storehouse and plundered it hmm hmm no problem yes 1 2 3 4 points will be there right one is a dissatisfied weavers second is uh second uh, swastika second point is they demanded higher wages dev ji this is your second point they demanded higher wages when the contractor uh, disagreed comma a group of the weavers a group of weavers forced their way into the house and destroyed everything inside this is your second point dev ji third point another group broke into the storehouse and fourth point the contractor fled with his family to a neighboring village so four point with an introduction it's five mark question okay acha see this question we have written earlier what was the concept of liberal nationalism right acha this one can also come in this way that explain liberalism in political and economic field so don't get panicked so explain liberalism or what was the concept of liberal nationalism it's the same thing okay acha yes 
Okay, fine. Next, explain the role. This is also a five mark question. Explain the role of languages. Explain the role of languages in developing the nationalist sentiments. Explain the role of languages in developing the nationalist sentiments in Europe. Okay, now write. Poland had been partitioned Poland had been partitioned at the end of 18th century hmm. sentiments in Europe nor in not in its sent nationalist sentiments in Europe. Okay, I'm repeating the answer again. Poland had been partitioned at the end of 18th century. Stop. Till then, till then, Poland was no longer, till then, Poland was no longer a nation state. Comma, but the people, but the people kept alive but the people kept alive the national feelings the national feelings through the language through the language stop Point number one, the emphasis on language, the emphasis on language was given to recover, was given to recover an ancient national spirit to recover an ancient national spirit stop point number two clergy in poland clergy in poland began to use clergy in Poland began to use Polish language P-O-L-I-S-H began to use Polish language as a weapon of as a weapon of national resistance Next point, point number three. Polish was used for church gatherings. Polish was used for church gatherings and religious instructions and religious instructions. Stop. Next point, point number four. The use of Polish, 
the use of polish thus came to be seen thus came to be seen as a symbol of as a symbol of struggle against against powerful dominance against powerful dominance stop so with this we end today's class next day we will continue with the extra some question answers from chapter 2 first we will start with short questions then we will do the long ones okay so any doubts any questions here also point number 3 tip okay <clears throat> point number 3 is polish was used for church gatherings and all religious instructions polish was used for church gatherings and all religious instructions okay any other questions otherwise i'll stop the class here